Right guys, so we are down here at the beautiful Quest Golf Academy and we're with James Goddard. Hello. And it's a, an overdue what's in the bag. It is. Because yeah. everybody's been asking about this, James. By the way, you are looking very smart in your new Thank outfit. you, my new attire. Looks thank good, you, mate. Thank you, Foot Joy. Looks really good. Right, so talk me through what you are have got in your set. Okay, um, start wedges? Yeah, let's go down. Let's go wedges first. Okay, so. SM5. So these are my SM5 wedges. I got four wedges. Keep that still for a second. Okay. It's mm -hmm. nice. A little bit of use. <laughs> yeah, they've been well practiced with you, right? Oh, a little wow. A little bit of a toe strike there. That's very well practiced. It's quite interesting that because that's actually um, give me a little bit of an insight onto something which I haven't really thought too much about, which is club fitting. Yeah. Uh, so I'm actually from this. I know now that I need an inch longer in my clubs, which okay. will have given a bit, bit of an upright strike, which right. is why it's a bit more towards the toe. So very interesting. Interesting. So stuff. new ones on the way yet, or? Well, I'm sure we can arrange something. I'm sure we can get some new wedges, James. I'm hoping you can sort <laughs> me out there. Eh? So that was 58 degree, right? So we got 58. Uh, 58. I try to keep four, four degrees, which gives roughly about about 12 yards difference. So 58. 54, 50, and I went for a 46. I know it's a wedge, which you can get standard, but I just feel as though the, the Vokey gives me a little bit more feel, um, and as they're my sort of scoring clubs, I went for a 46 in there. So uh, so 46, you've got F grind, which is quite a full grind, so great for full shots. Yeah. 50, you've also got F grind, wise choice. And then as you go into your L grind. That's I've gone quite low bounce, really. Yeah. Um, I suppose you kind of, it's before just, here you were playing at quite a lengthy golf course, weren't you? Is that right? Yeah, so low low bounce. Uh, if I did have an issue, with, I'd just open the face up for, for bumper shots or whatever, just to give it the extra bit of bit of bounce. So. Perfect. And then going in from your pitching wedge to your irons, where'd you go next? Um, I've got the 714s in the 714 MBs. Keep that on there. So 714 MB, so this is uh, Love these the muscle back, so yeah. it's just slight cavity at the back and then this is uh, probably now, well, two years old at least. Yeah, two, uh, yeah well 716s are out now but you still see lots of lots of top players in the world using older MBs because you can't really do a great deal with a butter knife, you can't really do a great deal, oof James. I know, oof. that's from yesterday so. Okay, we'll let you off. I mean, as they get very, they're very thin, so the technology gets pumped into them. Doesn't change significantly, does it? As, I as prefer in. this finish to the to the chrome finish on the uh, 716, actually. Okay, so you prefer so the slightly duller it's finish. It's like a satin finish, isn't it? Whereas the, the 716 has got the chrome, sort of high, sort of gloss, mirror-like finish. If, if very mirror-like. If, if you like, isn't it? So and do you have these customed? Um, they were fitted for me, but not using a, not using a uh, sort of a, a track man or anything. So okay. kind of just went fitting off a ball flight. Um, and what shaft have you got in these? The Project X Rifle 6.5. Nice. A little bit different. There's a, I see a lot of confusion with the difference between the Project X and the Project X Rifle. Yeah. They look exactly the same. The only difference being is the Project X is, a, is definitely more of a low, low spinning, low flight. Okay. sort of uh, shaft whereas this is sort of mid mid spin mid flight so a little bit more forgiving plus the progression in, sh in weight in the shaft as well um, whereas a project x standard the project x doesn't doesn't progress it stays yeah. the same weight informative and educational and then the grip the, uh, this is like is this a tour wrap it's called the tour wrap yeah i love these there's a lot a lot of people don't like these they are useless in the wet that's true but um <laughs> and on a day like today it's uh it's a little bit a little bit overcast today so yeah i mean they came out and and almost you'd imagine design for the guys in hot weather but even sometimes even in hot weather they're almost certainly when your palms get a little bit sweaty they're actually they get a bit wet then don't they as well they're not i they're tacky now but as soon as yeah you get any moisture on them they're not great but you know it, in the feel like it's, yeah i like the feel especially in a lot of golf balls so you go from nine up to four iron there nine to four iron yeah and then where do you go from there two iron oh love so this i love this piece this is the 716 it's the tbm with the tungsten weight as well 
So it's pretty much exactly the same as the 714 one was. Give that a little twirl. But they added the um, they added the tungsten weight. Yeah, it is a beauty. And you can actually, I believe in Asia side of things as well, you can actually get these in full sets. I'm not sure if there's quite you can, available yeah. you can. Uh, kind of UK or US, but uh, low, all the grade out. That's actually not tungsten, but it's kind of almost to a degree showing that that's the tungsten where it is. So it's more toe, heel. This is the 716 model. Uh, and it, they're absolute flying machines, aren't they? I love them. So it's supposed a hollow to, design and they just fly. Yeah, they're supposed to give it this. That weight was supposed to give you an extra eight yards. All right. I don't know whether it does, but <laughs> I, like the, I like the look of it. So, <laughs> so you go from your two iron where next? Uh, two iron into hybrid. Okay. Three hybrids, so quite a strong one. It's in, so I've got it in 20.5, 20, 20 but I've set it on a lower standard anyway, a lower setting. So Is that one and a half lower? I think it is, yeah. So, so down near to 19 degrees. Yeah, yeah. So this is the 915 HD. The HD version as well is the, the lower spinning version, typically a deeper face, slightly more squashed head, Yeah. Uh, designed for kind of more distance rather than height. Give that a little twirl there. It's a good looking club, isn't it? I like this. Because yeah. the new ones that have come out are the H1 and H2, and I've not seen many of those around in people's sets. Have you ever hit the H1 or H2? I haven't had a go yet, no. The, the, the much greyer finish, much more like the driver that's come out now, the 917, but it's a, an odd one because I've hardly seen any player using the H1 or H2, but I see loads of players still rocking the, uh, the 915s in the hybrids. Mm. And then where'd you go from that? Straight into the big stick. Straight into the big dog, yeah. So no, no I, three dog, no three wood. No, I've got one, but it's um, I would tend to use my two iron more. So I'll hit my two iron, and then if it's kind of that sounds the, very familiar to me. Yeah, because I, I, I don't I, particularly like three woods. I'd rather hit two iron. It's not that I dislike the three wood. Um, I just have a little bit more consistency with with a two iron, so we'll hit a two iron. So this made a fantastic appearance when we played in our very first course slog at Pleasington a few weeks back, where on the first hole, James stood onto the tee with me and Pete and hit an absolute monster bomb, dead straight. We won't talk about, we won't what, talk about what after, after that, that. <laughs> but it was all about not. the first shot. You know, so, honestly, James, people, just see your first shot. It's all about first first impressions. First impressions <laughs> count, yeah. The second shot doesn't matter. No. So what's this, the 915 D2? Yeah, 915 D2, so large, slightly larger head. This is, I think this is higher spinning, wasn't it? This, yeah, this is the D3 is slightly more, where's my hands? Squished, and the weight is slightly further forward. So it's a lower spinning, yeah. D2 is a slightly more forgiving version. Uh, but both, as long as they've been spec to a decent standard, you generally can get the spin lower anywhere on them. Yeah. So um, what shaft have you got in this? I've got a, it's a Daimana Mitsubishi Rayon in 60 gram S-Flex. Oh, Again. interesting. So my swing speed is roughly in around about 109, which okay. I'd say, which would say X-Flex, but I just found, again, not without using the data from a, a trackman or whatever, I just found, so I wasn't getting spin rate, I'd, this was sort of, the, the dispersion with this over an X seemed to be a bit better. Yeah, I mean, so, it's, it's Again, coming down to shafts, a lot of it's about feel. You can get, yeah. I, 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 I can hit a stiff and I can hit an X. I can't feel that much difference. For me, it all, I say this all the time, the, a lot of times it's ego, with, especially with guys, yeah. that, that, that gets in the way with, with, they all want an X flex, but I, if that had an L on it for ladies and I had it perfectly straight every time, then I'm happy to play with a lady golf club. Oh, there you go. There you have it, folks. <laughs> Honestly, no, I, you're dead right. It's all you, about. You know what? You don't. I think almost, if anything, you, they should change the naming of stiff and extra stiff to like almost numbers or some like sort of code. So yeah. again, people don't get in their own way when selecting the shaft. Because we all want the X flex, but is it is it the right choice for us? Don't yeah. let your ego get in the way with it. Whatever's right for you, whatever keeps that ball on the fairway or as close to it, that's definitely got to be the right shaft, isn't it? So that's all the big stuff. Yep. And then what do we go with the putter? Well, I actually won this putter in a raffle. All oh, right, is that right? You won it in a raffle? <laughs> what are you reckon? This ah, is... That looks familiar. Have you seen one of these before? I've seen one of these before. So, so this, yeah. This was James's welcome present for joining the team here at Quest Golf Academy. We, uh, this was a welcome to the team. Here's a nice tailor-made limited edition Itsy Bitsy Spider in red. So and uh, nice. you like it, liking it still? Yeah, it's beautiful. I love the look of it. I love so how it sits. 35 inches. If you've not seen the review of this, guys, I'll put a link up in the corner. I've reviewed this 
believe it or not, this actual pizza. Um, but it's a, a great shape. Um, Jason Day kind of first off came out with the idea of it being a red putty, like the idea that yeah. red back spider for because he's an Aussie. But actually, Jason doesn't Day have, is no, doesn't have the red line. Doesn't the have white the white line. line, and it's a different neck. And I remember in my review, I said, oh, it's the, I mean, it's limited edition, but it's not proper limited edition. Anyway, yeah. now they've brought a proper one out. Right. Okay. They've so brought well, a proper well, limited line. edition. Yeah, no white line and a proper neck on it, like just like Jason Day. Uh, but that's been in the bag for about four weeks now, so on. Four weeks. I'm not. It's not really had too many outings. It's uh, obviously our course vlog and a couple of others, but not a great deal. But I just like the feel off the face. This true roll thing, I like that, and I definitely like the stability with the weight um, on off centre hits, Perfect. which I hit quite often. So There's a bit of waiting. We just spin that onto it so I can see the back of the putter. There's a little bit of waiting toe and heel that just give you a little, a little bit of support off off centred hits. Yeah. Um, okay, so last little bits to wrap up. Uh, golf ball that you use? Golf ball, I use the Pro V1. Uh, got one here somewhere. So normal or X? The, this is the normal one, isn't it? You got a little, little JG on there. Nice, for JG. So they'll, they'll be scattered all over the place. We should put a, a phone number and address underneath that. If, you, if we see a J, it actually matches your top quite nice. That's, well, that's, what was, that's the plan. Was that, is that an X or a standard? That's the X. X, yeah. It is X, yeah, because yep. it's got the red number. So slightly firmer cover for generally faster ball speeds. Yeah. Um, and then going into uh, Bushnell that you rock? Yeah, the V3, which I think you've got the latest one from this, haven't you, with the slope? The Torx, yeah. So that's the one without the slope. No. Ha one hand been able to uh, to do the Bushnell, which is good. Um, and that's pretty much it. We've got a tight list stand bag at the moment, but I'm sure we can get a nice fancy it's, it's tour bag. It's seen better days this. Have you got see. a tour bag, James? No, I haven't, no. I'm sure we can, I'm sure we can get you one. It'll have to be a tight list one, actually, won't it? Um, very nice. Do you, are you interested in trying any of the new gear, the new tight list drivers, and maybe the new tight Yeah, definitely. I, 100% moving forward next year, would definitely be interested in getting maybe a, uh, looking at the AP1s. Or the, yes, the AP2s, AP2s the, uh, yeah. sorry, yeah. They're the ones that like John Spieth and players like use. Yeah, just just as I'm not playing as much as I used to, I think it doesn't take a lot. You have to be hitting a lot of balls to be uh, to be able to to be striking the the blade consistently. And I just think any sort of help I can get will be yeah. uh, very welcome. It. Perfect, James. Like, that was awesome, guys. If you've not seen anything about just James just yet he is our new golf pro down here at Quest Golf Academy he is available for coaching he's a fantastic coach uh, some of his insights and his ideas are, uh, are awesome really refreshing so if you want to get booked in with him you can do in the link below this is not a sales pitch just to let you know that he does do coaching down here um, and we'll get you out on more course logs coming soon yes definitely yeah that's Me class too. that James cool. um, don't forget to go and follow him on Twitter as well guys right that's class this by the way this video was all filmed on my new iPhone 7 Plus. What do you think of the quality? Do you think it's good enough to do stuff like this? It looks good on the screen, but tell me if it's good enough. Comment below. Go and subscribe to the channel. Go and check out James. He's going to be doing some stuff on the Quest Golf YouTube channel as well coming soon. And uh, you're about to coach now. Enjoy your day. Got a lesson. Yes. Enjoy. Thank you.